Over half of online orders are actually made on mobile devices. However, so many stores are not properly optimized for consumers that are shopping on their mobile. So in this video, I'm going to be going over exactly how to optimize your site for mobile devices. It is important that your site looks good on mobile devices because think about it. If people are on their phone and they are looking at it, the site and your images don't look good or things aren't sized correctly, they are not going to purchase from you. Yeah, that's true. They are just going to leave because it's just going to be frustrating for them and you are losing out on potential sales. So you really want to make sure that you know exactly how your site looks like on mobile devices and that is optimizing correctly. So I'm going to go over a few different tips now for how to make sure that your site looks good on mobile devices. First off, you just want to make sure you are actually looking at it and you know exactly what your site looks like. So some Shopify themes have really great mobile friendly de design and others are not so good. You want to make sure that you know exactly how your site works on mobile. Whenever you are picking out a Shopify theme, look for, see exactly how it is optimized for mobile devices. So some Shopify themes actually let you add it a separate mobile friendly images for the mobile device. So for example, your homepage slideshow, a lot of time there's horizontal and on mobile devices, that doesn't look good either. That's just losing the details on the photos and getting it cropped from somewhere here and there and text is all over the place. However, some things will actually let you upload a separate image for your mobile device and set it according to the phone so that you can crop it to a little bit more specific and make more square. It, so it really highlights the images Again, not all themes have that capability. So you want to make sure that you know exactly what the mobile capabilities are when you are looking for a Shopify theme. My next tip would be to take full advantage of shoppable images and posts on social media. So I've done a couple of different videos on this channel already about how to do the shoppable posts, Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest. But what this lets you do is add images on Instagram. For example, tag your products in the images. So that way they like the image and their interest in your products, they can just really quickly easily click on the tagged product and then shop it on your site. It makes it really helpful because a lot of us are actually using our phone for social media. So we are already using this functionality and then we can easily click over and purchase on our site. So I will put a link to different tutorials on how to set this up for the Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest soon. Okay, my next tip is to regards to the voice search. So this was one of the top trends that I listed out our top e-commerce trends video in 2022. Voice search is really going to be important. So this is in any time people are using things like smart devices like Google Home and Alexa or Siri or Cortana on your phone. Anytime people are just Googling and actually asking this question out loud, your product could actually be served to them there. So it's really important to make sure that you are optimized for the products and your website for that. So a great way to do that is to properly add all the tags for the, your images, as well as you know exactly what customers are searching for when they are looking for your product and adding those keywords onto your product pages as well just to make sure that your site overall is really search engine optimized. This will help you get pulled up, not only in the search results, but also in the voice search. That's another way to get your found when people are looking for your products on their phone. And my last tip is to think about installing a chatbot on your site. So a great example of this is the Facebook Messenger. A lot of us actually already have Facebook Messenger app on our phone. So that way a customer that may have a question about your product or sizing of the products or shipping times or anything like that can easily ask that question through the Facebook Messenger like app on your website and you will be able to respond to them. You can also set automated messages as an auto reply. However, it's going to be really beneficial if you're able to actually answer these questions very quickly because people are actually going to be expecting that when they send you a message to one of those chatbots. So if you're going to set up one of those chatbots on your site, make sure that you have bandwidth capabilities to actually answer these questions really quickly. Otherwise, you won't see as many benefits from having that on your site. I hope you found these tips helpful in terms of how to optimize your site for the mobile devices. We have got more Shopify and quick tips coming out very, every single Tuesday and you can see full playlist over here and make sure you have subscribed to the channel. We post new videos every week all about Shopify and how to grow your online store.